Hello everybody, um, my name is Luis Gonzalez. Uh, I'm an instructor here at the Miami Job Corps Center. Um, this is my video on the importance of safety um, while, while working on acoustical ceilings. Uh, so this is the WFED 106, lesson number six. And I'm going to explain the, the importance of safety in, in, in any job in general. So we're focused on doing acoustical ceilings here. So the, the, I'm going to demonstrate most most of the tools that we use and how to use them in the uh, while, while installing acoustical ceiling. So the first thing and foremost, you have to keep in mind safety it, regardless of whatever job that you're doing. So. The first thing about safety is having proper PPE. And having proper PPE is having earplugs, uh, face, face shield, um, safety glasses, and, and gloves. So, um, first thing we do is when, we, when we're working, we inspect our, our tools and we inspect the area where we're working and make sure that there's, it's free of all debris and everything. Uh, for instance, on the floor, we have a couple of tools and materials here on the, on the side of the floor. We've been already working on this uh, acoustical ceiling. So, um, when, you, when you are working, you, you, you're using a scaffold. We're gonna use uh, a couple of tools here, uh, for instance, the grinding machine and we have a power actuated gun here that we use also to shoot the hangers in the ceiling and to uh, shoot the wall angles into the wall because this is a concrete surface that we're, we're working with so first of all we want to focus on the focus four which are number one falls we always have to be careful of falls. And falls can be from a scaffold, which is what we're using here. This particular scaffold, we, we don't have to, um, we're not required to have handrails because it's under six feet high. But you have to be extra careful when working on these scaffolds because you have a small work surface and it's only intended for one person to be working on. Um, they have uh, different elevations that you can lock it into. Um, once you lock it in, you have the safety pins that you, uh, you place in here. So, the proper way to um, get onto a scaffold is first you have to place it in the place that you would like to work at and then you would lock the wheels. Okay, so you have to walk around and lock the other wheels. Of course, you'll probably be working with someone else, so that person will be helping you doing, uh, <coughs> doing the movement of the, of the scaffold. Then to get on the scaffold, you have to use this, uh, this ladder that's built into the scaffold, and that's the only way that you should get on or off the scaffold. So a lot of people, they jump off these scaffolds and everything, and that's the improper way to use these scaffolds, because you can get hurt if you jump off, if you break a leg, you can always hurt yourself. And so you have to be very careful. And the way you get on it is on the side like this, and try to keep your balance in the middle of the scaffold. Once you, once you have a, got on one side, then you bring the other leg inside. So in this instance, I'm, pro, I'm using this scaffold to get a height in here. When the, we're using the focus four is one of them. The, uh, the first one is fall hazards, which is this scaffold itself. 
So we have to be aware of our surface here. And we don't want to, we don't want to fill the scaffold with our tools and materials. You should have them always on your pouch. And if there's any materials or tools, it should be uh, handed to you by a, by a, a coworker. Um, then, then you uh, don't want to get caught in between anything. So the other thing is uh, being struck by. So for instance, this, uh, these lighting fixtures up here, they, they have been, we have suspended them already, but they have a, a, a cable that is, is uh, insulated, and, but you still have the danger of being electrocuted. So you have to handle them from the outside, and they have uh, some holes in there where you can hang them, which is what we did, and uh, prevent them from swaying or moving in any direction and getting struck by it or electrocuted. Um, so that's uh, the safety part of, of, of using this, this, uh, this scaffold. And once you are finished, you, you, you must dismount the same way. You're gonna get off the same way that you, that you got on. Okay, and then the other safety aspects is you always uh, want to inspect your tools, everything that you use before you use it. So, for instance, in this scaffold, you want to make sure that the locks and everything work properly. Um, and then now we're, we're going to use a couple of other tools very briefly. This one is, is the grinder. We're going to, we use the grinder to when we remove the old um, old grid and we, we installed the new one, we use the grinder to cut the nails that were already previously in there. So the first thing you do with a, with a tool, you have this old grinder here and this one upon inspection, we discovered that there's a cut on the, on the, on the cable. So that's the importance of inspecting all your tools before you start working. And that cut, um, you know, if you don't check it out, you could possibly get it electrocuted. Okay. So what I'm going to do is put my PPE on first. I want to put my glasses on and then I put my gloves on. It's always good to have all proper PPE. Then you want to put your ear earplugs on. Actually, I want to do that before because it's hard to do it with my gloves on. So once I have the earplugs in, I can use the grinder because it has a high revolution and it makes a lot of noise. So. I'm just going to demonstrate, we inspect the tool, inspect the cable for any nicks or any cuts or anything, and make sure uh, that everything's in the tool. Now this one, uh, unfortunately, we somehow we, 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 we uh, don't have the, the guard, these, these tools have a, a safety guard, but it's okay, it still can be used, but in this case, I have to use a face shield and my goggles at the same time for extra protection. So, plug it in and make sure that everything is, is, has grounded, a grounded. We plug it in and then this is our, how the tool is used. So. and then we grind on whatever materials that we're going to work on and it, it shoots a lot of sparks out so you have to be aware of the rotation I have to have my face mask on when I actually do the work so I would put it up against the surface and the sparks are going to go in the same uh, direction as the rotation 
So you don't want to be in this position with the grinder or in the other position when the wheel is facing you. Okay? So that's um, how the grinder is used. And always when you finish uh, using a, a, a power tool that's, that's, that's uh, powered by electricity, you always unplug it when you finish. Okay? Then we have also the gun. This is a power actuated gun that we use. And this we use to install the uh, wall angle and also the ceiling uh, hangers. And this one is, is powered by these 22 bullets that are pretty dangerous because they're powerful tools. And the bullet is installed in here in the gun. First, you would install the, uh, the nails. I see, I, have, I know I have nails here somewhere, over here. We have some nails over here with the, with the hanger clip. And this is installed inside the gun. Then you would install the, the bullet and always make sure that you're, you're not pointing it at anyone or in any direction of anyone. You would, you would close it like that, put it up against the surface that you wish to nail it on, and then pull the trigger. This has a, a little spring device on the head, and if it's not fully engaged, it will not activate it. So that's how we use the, uh, the safety gun. So the main importance about this whole class is the importance of safety. So always wear all your proper PPE. Never horse around when you're working. Make sure you have all your safety equipment, your goggles, your face shield, uh, especially when working with power tools. And be sure to keep your surfaces clean wherever you're working and clean as you go because any time you're working with this kind of job, you're always dropping uh, materials and parts. So what happens is you create uh, tripping hazards, fall hazards, and other kinds of hazards. Uh, for instance, these, these, um, these tees, uh, this is another, another danger. And we, we have to, we, sh we cut them with um, aviation snips. So you have to be careful when you cut them, for instance, like this, and then I cut them here on this side, and I cut this side to cut them off. You have to be, be careful because those, those shreds and, and these parts are very sharp and you can get yourself cut. So it's always a good idea to use your, your gloves. All right, and the same with the wire. We cut the wires at whatever given length, but the ends of the wires are very sharp and they can stick into you and they can cut you very badly. So you have to be aware of that. And, um, and when you're installing these, you have to be aware of people around you because your movement, you know, you can strike, strike, some, strike somebody. So uh, I think I covered everything. And this is my class here on uh, WFED 106. And I hope uh, everybody got something out of it. And thank you very much.